Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We have got our first mother kill as you can see here and it was as a modded character as well. We played as Job there to get that. Um, now we can jump in as Eden for the first time. We have one token, only the one, but I feel like once you have Eden tokens you have to kind of take it. Unfortunately though, we uh, the cactus honestly pretty good. This honing stick thing that we've got here, the uh, the active item, is not great. Also, not quite sure what happened there. I dropped my trinket, it changed into the broken padlock. Must have been one from um, one from the thingy mod, uh, Jerb mod. But anyways, let's take our gifts. Um, even even though some of you might think this is a bit cheaty, it's there. It's available to me. I want my Christmas gifts. Don't kill him. No. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, this honing stick, basically, the longer we hold it, <coughs> the more stuff drops from the sky, um, and lightning starts falling and stuff. It's, it in theory seems pretty good, but unfortunately in practice, it tends to not actually do that much. Um, you can hold it between rooms, the longer you hold it, the more aggressive it gets, but as you can see, things are falling like crazy, and it still takes quite a long time to hit anything, and like... Trying to aim specifically at an enemy is really, really rough, actually. Um, it can be quite a pain in the ass, to be honest. But, on the other hand, in some rooms it is actually really, really good. Um, oh, we got... Did we have this item recently? Uh, anyways, we'll take this. This is the item... Okay, I'm going to have to put that away for now. Uh, this is the item where the less keys we have, the more damage we do. It's pretty good pretty good but yeah so we can kind of walk around with this and do good damage with it but it tends to be a little difficult to use in my opinion um but obviously it has the advantage of being able to hit enemies that you otherwise couldn't hit uh it's just it's very it's very random as all well. also it does stop when you get hit which is kind of annoying oh god that guy's so close to me um we don't have very many uh we don't have very good fire rate right now as eden here so that's not amazing we can check out a shop here um i'm gonna buy the compass and donate the rest I'm going to be trying to donate as much as we can, but yeah, the compass is just too good to not take here. Um, so I could try it in this room here, but I think it's somewhat directional. Like, it, it strikes where I'm close to, which means that enemies like this I kind of have to be close to in order to make it viable. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a little tricky to hit things sometimes. Especially stationary enemies. Enemies that move around a lot is not so bad. For stationary enemies, it really is a problem. I think for bosses, it's going to be actually pretty good. Ancient Recall unlocked. Nice. The good thing is it does drop creep as well, so that's going to be hitting regardless. It's interesting. It's interesting. We get Jesus Juice here. As for the question of the day today, what it was your favourite gift that you got at Christmas? And if you were living alone and you didn't get, get any gifts, what's something that you've bought yourself recently that you're excited about? Um, excuse me? Oh, okay. I didn't quite understand the room there for a second, but I got it. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and then we can use this bomb to I don't know, do something. I, I probably should have broken one of the pots there, but oh well. Kind of an interesting little room there. So yeah, I don't want to use the, the herning stick all the time, if that's what it's called. I don't even know. I don't want to use this all the time. Really? I just walked right into that enemy. Oh my god. I might die here. I just lost my devil deal so unbelievably fast. It's actually crazy. Um... Luckily, a heart dropped from that guy. I didn't expect that guy to puke on me straight away there. It's fine. Losing our devil deal isn't a big deal. I was going to go angel as this guy anyways. It does slow that process down a little bit, but otherwise it's fine. But yeah, the the uh, cactus dudes are actually pretty good. Because they, they respawn. They spawn in a random place each room. And they can deal a significant amount of damage. Honestly, this enemy, potentially really hard to kill. But luckily got low health. But yeah, for me, Christmas gifts, I'm, I'm sitting in it right now. I got a, a brand new chair for my girlfriend, and it is very good. The chair that I was using before was just trash. It was like a, a crappy little office chair that was like, yeah, it just wasn't great. It didn't have a lot of support and stuff. This one's a lot, lot better. A lot, lot better. Um, let's see how this works out. Yeah, the, it's the creep, honestly, that's the biggest get with this item. The creep does a lot for us. Um, what's this do? Bomb pickup spawn with a throwable higher chance for... Okay, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. That is pretty good, but... 
Actually, wait. Whoa, 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 wait. This is incredible. I just realized. We never need to pick up another key as long as we have bombs. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, um... We can stay at the maximum level of damage and never pick up another key because we can bomb everything to open it. Okay, this is a very, very tricky room right here. Okay, good. Got you. And it, the, the pooters that hover over stuff, just the worst. I'm having a really hard time killing this uh, pooter fly. Okay, the cactus got him good. But yeah, I just realized the, the, the latch thing is just so good because we can just use bombs. Dude, <laughs> I'm getting hit so much right now. Um, we can just use bombs for everything, so we just don't need to use keys anymore. That's that's kind of great. It's kind of great, yeah. I'm probably not going to use the honing stick much more, to be honest. It's just, I find it a little inconvenient to use because you can't fire tears or anything while it's going off. It makes it a little tricky. Why are poot is like my worst nightmare right now? Having such a hard time with them. But yeah, we can just bomb through doors. Good stuff. Um... The battery doesn't really do anything for us. I'm going to try and just reroll into a soul heart here. We can get a lot of money, so we get steam sale at least. That's nice. Uh, I'll buy the card. Why not? It's the Empress. Uh, let's first of all... Do we, we found our item room already, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Please don't die. We should be fine here. Good, good, good. Probably should have put that judgment down. See what it is. I'll just bomb him. I don't want to use too many bombs here, but honestly, we're getting some good stuff. I did get a lot of devil deal chance back there, though, so I might be able to get a devil deal here. Um, and then I'll go and grab my Empress card again. I really should be full clearing the floors when I have the chance, when I have the opportunity. I don't need to, um, but we could be missing out on some good stuff. I keep I keep thinking we're missing out on planetariums, but we don't even have them unlocked yet. We're way off having them unlocked. But if we play as Andromeda, we'll likely get those unlocked pretty quick. I actually don't know how Andromeda plays if you don't have them unlocked, I'll be honest. Getting hit a lot here. Just par for the course for me at the minute, really. I think we should get this going to start the boss fight off. Maybe I just want to end up using this on bosses. Especially because they're so easy to hit with the like light beams and the, the creep does so much damage to them and stuff. Yeah, it seems like a decent way to kill bosses. And then we can just play normally for the rest. We do get the ability to gulp our hell trinket. That's good stuff. We'll take that. We'll take the other shot speed up. But now we can actually go back and get that other trinket, which is pretty awesome. Because now we have a pretty great way of getting additional bombs. Because this means a bomb pickup will always spawn with um, a red bomb next to it. Which means if there's a door in that room, we can use it to blow it up. It's actually a really, really good combo. Um, and I really like the, the water bottle for being able to gulp that for us. It's really, really nice. We're, we're trying to speed along here. People have sort of spoken their mind in the past comments about um, what we should do in terms of disabling the timer or not. Most people are sort of for the idea of keeping the timer for a little bit, seeing how we do, and then if it just... This is really tricky. Oh my God, this room is awful. Um, and then, um, yeah, if it ends up being too tricky, if we end up missing it like five, six episodes in a row, then we can do it. Some other people have suggested just disabling the timers, but then setting my own timer. So basically extending it by an extra few minutes or whatever, just so I give myself a bit of extra time. Even though it is physically open, we don't have to enter it if we pass. Like if we get there at like 25 minutes, we can just say, no, 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 we don't want to go in. It's, I think it's, that's probably one of the better ideas. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Jump on the mushroom's heads. Get out my face. I'm getting hit so much right now. It's kind of incredible. Where'd that mushroom go? There he is. Dude, these mushroom guys are aggressive as shit. I think any needs to touch the cactus take damage, you know. It seems like it there. Okay. This guy will poo out a, yeah, a dip. Nice and easy. So, for example, like this, we get one bomb there, but we tried to get a secret room, and then we get a regular bomb as well. So that's going to be super good for unlocking doors and stuff in general. Ooh, nice. We got a huge hole there. 
a huge haul. Excuse me, dude. This guy's kind of tricky to kill with the fly going around him. I always find it weird that they spawn a black fly and the eternal fly like that. Don't need that right now. Seems like a good rune to use this in. Good thing is as well, we can get some creep going and then just stop. Do not like you with the scissors, please. Oh god, he's flying. Fly into this. Fly into this. Yeah, honestly, using the cactus there for uh, contact damage might be a good strategy. Oh god, he got how to jump. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> that was kind of hilarious. I was not expecting how to jump there. That's so funny. Right, so now we can bomb through this. And then we got tech two with two soul hearts as well. Beautiful. I love tech two. Obviously, it does lower your fire rate, but gives you that infinite range. I think it's really good. Come on, you. There you go. Yeah, and also... Oh, no. Unfortunately, Tech 2 doesn't actually hit the cactus. I was going to say we might be able to pop the cactus really quickly with Tech 2, but it doesn't, unfortunately, work that way. My god, the knockback on these guys is insane. Holy hell. But yeah, I really, really like Tech 2. It's going to do us really well. Still, at the minute, really, really enjoying the, uh, the new save file here. Oh. <sighs> I thought maybe I could get that to where I uh, could bring it into the next room with me, but it's not super plausible. Hey, troll bombs do work for opening up that. Um, and then I think we might as well get restock. Also, bombs in shops spawning that too. Unexpected, but a very nice addition. Very nice welcome. I like that a lot. Okay, slightly annoying room here. Especially considering the enemy type that we've got here. There's going to be a lot of waiting around. Okay, nice. Got a card here. I, I will go and check that out just in case it's anything super good. Devil card. It's probably not as good as the Empress, to be honest. Okay, nice. Amazing. And grab ourselves some extra bombs here. Yeah, this is a super, super good combo of stuff we've got going on right now. Right, let's get this going. Wait a little bit just to ramp it up some. And then go straight into the boss fight. Oh my god, he spawned on the cactus. He spawned on the cactus. Okay, the cactus is incredibly good for this fight here. But yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping in and doing some challenges and stuff like that as well. It's been a while since I've done any challenges. Honestly, we're getting so lucky with soul hearts here. It's kind of unreal. And we get our angel deal, which is actually pretty good. Flight and spectral. I, I appreciate it. We can't bomb our angel statue quite yet. We're actually making good time this run. We're making really good time, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Right. Let's go straight for the item room here. Yeah, having flight is going to be super good, actually. Spectral is really nice because now we can shoot over rocks with our laser, too. Uh, I didn't even think about the fact that Spectral affects Tech 2, but that's actually a huge thing for us now because now we have infinite range and nothing blocking us. Um, Stem cells. Nice. We've actually got the buffed stem cells that shoots at things for us, too. I'm going to open this up. Why not? I want to see what, what's going on with this room. Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Apparently, if you bomb these, it doesn't actually open them. <laughs> Strange. Okay. That was a waste of a bomb, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't actually open them. Like, the, the block isn't there, but it technically still is, which is slightly confusing, slightly annoying. I'm hoping we can get something interesting to buff up Tech 2 here. Tech 2 is always an item that's got some cool stuff going on with it. Oh, bugger. Didn't mean to get hit there. Can we? I need to check this out. I'm not 100% sure if this works, but I feel like we could maybe bomb into boss trap rooms, and I need to test that out just to, just to find out. Okay, there's a key, but we don't want the key. We don't care about no keys. Ow. Getting hit a bit more than I should be here, really, but honestly, we're doing so well on health right now that it's not a problem. So funny with runs like this, where I've been down to half a heart and now I'm this high up. Right, let me check this. Ah, it doesn't. I didn't think it did, 
But I, I had to I had to find out just to be sure. Because if that if that was possible, that would have been crazy. I'm taking all the pills this run. I don't know why particularly this run I've decided that pills are a good idea. But I have. I was going to play Lazarus at the start of this run, wasn't I? I said yesterday that I was going to play Lazarus, but I just kind of forgot. Yeah, look at that. Can, can you bomb these? You can. Okay. I wonder if they count as mushrooms. Oh, shit. Okay, this is going to be slightly tricky. We have to kill this guy first. Luckily, he does give a half soul heart on dying there. Very nice. Oh, God. What are these guys? Oh, God. These are enemies that I have not seen before. I was not ready. Okay, we got another teal guy. The teal guy champions are particularly tricky, but we've dealt with them plenty of times before now. We're getting used to them. It ain't so bad. Unfortunately, we do still have Ipecac disabled for now. I really want to bring it back, but it is causing some other issues at the moment. I really like the resprite of the dead dove item. It's really good. Okay, we'll probably use the Empress on this boss fight and not use our uh, Herning Stick. Oh, God. Tricky boss. I really want more fire rate. I know that I don't need it with Tech 2 as much, but I would really love it. We, we have been getting a few fire rate ups. We got Squeezy, obviously. That's that's definitely helped. We're getting up to like 3 fire rate, 4 fire rate would be awesome. We're pretty low down at the minute. Oh, God. Looks like a potentially very hard room. But I think the knockback from Tech 2 is actually going to save us here. It's going to be our saving grace. Oh, my God. These guys are taking forever to kill the... There's another key. So, yeah, we just don't need keys at all. I really love this sort of... I don't, I don't even know what I'd call it. It's kind of like a sort of micro synergy. It's not anything crazy. Ooh, hello. I'm going to grab this money before he can, because he can pick this up to heal, I'm pretty sure. Okay, those guys can definitely pick it up. Holy sugar, that was a lot of money. We might be doing a lot of donating here. Uh, we did get compost, which I do quite like compost. I'm going to buy it just because there'll be an item underneath it. Uh, I'll buy that. And... Nah, I'll get I'll get myself up to 50 coins if I can here. Yeah, there you go. We unlock another item at 50 coins. Um, I'll do soul converter. Yeah, I'll keep soul converter, actually. I'll do soul converter a few times. Is it still one-to-one -one ratio? I think it is, isn't it? is absolutely insane. Which means we can guarantee get a Maggie unlock if we keep Soul Converter here, I think. I like it. No key for me, thank you. Um, let's go. And we got a, a new champion version of the Pepperoni Boy. Oh, Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what I think about the, uh, the tinting our screen. Thing. This might be permanent. Sometimes the screen tints glitch out and they just never, never go away. We might be having a very purple run here, which um, I don't really mind. It might just be until he's dead, though. We'll see. Oh, God. This guy is tough. It's a tough version of this boss. Certainly enjoyed it, though. Okay. It looks like we're probably stuck with purple now. We don't need the keys. Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. Um... Seraphim, I'll certainly take. Yeah, it, we're very much going to be stuck with a with a very, very purple run now. So um, I hope you enjoy that. It's it's some weird bug with uh, anything that changes the shaders in the game. It, um, it has a trouble removing them sometimes, uh, as you can clearly see. And it just, it just doesn't remove them ever. Um, but eh, it kind of adds some weird flair to the run, I guess. <laughs> It adds a little a little something something. Oh, I think we've got a tainted treasure room over there. That'll be the first one of this save file. I do wonder, um I do wonder what that might be. So we'll pick up that and we'll go like this. That was a really bad throw. The, the, the cactus boy kind of booped me out the way. Oh my god. You feather wielding little fucks. They're so tricky to dodge now. Nice, got some bombs here, so we can maybe go... Uh, 
yeah, you can, we can throw it into the next room. It's just a little tricky, right? We'll uh, leave it at that for our soul converter for now. Also, Seraphim is a familiar. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like runs like this where you get the purple screen and stuff. I apologize for any of you that if, if it's a little visually annoying. I realize it's probably not perfect, but there is not much I can do about it. Even exiting the run doesn't fix it. I have tried. Now, do we need two bombs to open this up, or is it single bomb? I think it's going to be two bombs, right? No, it's a single bomb. Awesome. Um, and we get overstock. All shops are tainted keeper shops. Shop spawn in the womb. If tainted keeper is in the game, attempts to spawn an extra shop. That's really cool. We'll definitely take that. So now, our shops are uber worthwhile. Interesting uh, room here, unfortunately. Oh, God, I got hit. Didn't get anything for the, for the uh, efforts I put in there. So, shop's very valuable. We unfortunately don't have a lot of money. It's kind of a shame that we donated and spent all the money we spent last floor. But we should still check our shops to see what we can get. Because um, if there's any way we can min-max the floor to get some money, then I think we should. But yeah, I love modded interactions like this chastity thing. It's just such an interesting, like, part of the game. Can okay, thank you. Okay, we got one of them. Two. Wizards have a really hard time hitting you as well. Nice. Don't get hit again, dude. That would be foolish. Right, item room wise. Ooh, amazing. Amazing. Really, really good familiar. Oh, we got one of these chests. Those chests are kind of insane and they can pay out like crazy, but I don't know if we want to go for it because it could be a, a, a pretty big risk. Okay. So, unfortunately, this shop here looks normal. I don't think it applied to this floor, so I'm just going to buy the soul heart. Um, I just want to test something. Let me just... Okay, it takes red health first. Oh, wait, what? That one's not... That one opened straight away. What the hell? Uh, we also got a joker out of this. Okay, that was unbelievably worthwhile. Um, yeah, I don't know why this one's like... Because it was um, reflected, this one just isn't working. I don't know if it's... Oh, no, there you go. Dude, those chests are bananas. I just... What the hell? Those chests are ridiculous. That's actually insane how powerful they are. I'm guessing they uh, have a very, very low chance to open at that many hearts. I have had them take like eight or nine hearts before, so I might have just got really lucky there. I don't know. Anyways. Ooh. Champion version of you. Very cool looking. More of a deathly version. Oh, more of a stone version, as I say. Holy shit. He is hard. Luckily, we got a lot of health there. Oh, my God. I've been hit by every single attack so far. <laughs> really, really cool version of that boss, too. Uh, we get an Eternal Heart here. Hey, there's the Magian lock we're looking for. Awesome. And we can go to our Angel Deal. And, unfortunately, an item that isn't very good with our current setup, but it does make us look cool. This is going to spawn fireworks when we use our active. Right now, unfortunately, we just can't use our active on demand. Because um, it's a three-room charge for one, but also we don't want to be uh, turning all of our soul hearts into red hearts, really. Um, it's not great. Oh, we got another tinted treasure room here. Awesome. I'll just check it out. This time, shops contain fewer goods. You receive a free store credit in each shop. I don't know how these two would possibly combine, but I feel like I have to try it out. I feel like that seems like a really interesting combo of tainted treasures. Okay, you, you spawned on the uh, on the cactus there, so you're dead. But yeah, I, I feel like the shop is going to contain less, but we're going to get a store credit to get something for free, which seems perfect considering we have no money. Right? That seems really, really good. Something I'm hoping on this save file, and I don't want to jinx it, but I'm hoping we don't get too many crashes. I'm hoping we don't lose too much progress and stuff to that. But we'll see. So far, so good. Um, our modded setup seems to be relatively stable. No, I picked up a key. It's okay. I spent it on a chest straight away. What in the bollocks was this? Wow. That's a lot of bombs. 
That, sir, is a lot of bombs. Yeah, the Gorgon thing is, is honestly incredible. Just being able to freeze one enemy every room every so often, it's just really, really good. Okay, still got effectively 18 keys. We have unfortunately missed Boss Rush, but Hush is still like possible right now, I think. As long as we don't take too long with this floor. I think Hush is still plausible. Especially with the compass where we can kind of somewhat know where we're going. It's not an exact science of where we're able to go, but we get a, we get a pretty good idea. Like this, unfortunately, looked like it was the right way, but it wasn't. Ow. Oh, that was a... F ah, didn't realize that was an enemy. Lost my burn heart to that boy. Would have been an annoying room if we didn't have flight. Thank God we did. Right, curious to see how this shop works. Yeah, where are we shooting here? Oh, God damn. Right, so, this shop does have less, quite a lot less, but we do get a store credit, which allows us to get the drummer boy here for free. Okay, I think that's pretty good, and the shops are going to spawn in the womb as well. I think that's pretty cool. We do get less stuff, but we get one of them for free. We also get a little dumpy here, which is honestly incredible. He is an absolute god. Um, and then in here, uh, unfortunately, it's just a disc. I'm not going to go all that way and spend that time getting a single disc. Discs are good, but... Um, we're in somewhat of a rush here to try and get Hush, if plausible. We just can't have what happened last episode with the going the wrong way about 15 times, which honestly shouldn't be as problematic for us, um, simply because we do have uh, the compass, but it's, it's it can still happen. We can easily still go the wrong way a lot. Yeah, yeah, you do your chasing. Okay. I'm going to do this just to get some fireworks out there. Honestly, that wasn't really worth it. I'll be honest. Ooh, the fireworks do trigger our bomb, though. Oh, and that cactus is in the perfect spot. Get that nubbin out again, and we'll deal hot, hot damage to you. Okay, we still get an item here. That's nice. Bar of soap. We can check the devil deal, see if there's anything worth taking. Landing a shot reduces the time until the next shot can be fired. That's actually really good. I'm going to take that. We do get some good money here as well. Uh, and we'll go to the next floor. I realize I should have probably taken Ouija board there because it actually does give you fire rate. But, right, so we technically want to be going up this way, but who knows as to how true that is. But yeah, this, this fire rate thing that it gives you is pretty awesome. Basically, when we hit a shot, reduces the time to our next shot. So the more accurate we are, the more likely we are to like have higher fire rate. It's, it's a pretty nice combo of stuff, to be honest. We still need more actual damage, though. Our actual damage is good, but it's not really gone up since Chastity, which is a bit of a shame. So this is looking like the right way to the boss, but like I said, you never really know. Okay, it is. Okay, this was good. This was a, a very fast floor. A very fast floor, indeed. Oh, our cactus is so close to being directly on top of him here, but... As you can see, with the extra fire rate and stuff that we're getting here from hitting shots, this guy's actually going down really quick. I love the reworked Mr. Fred. Just so much more style, so much more interesting, like, attack patterns and stuff. Feels way better. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. We get that as well. Check our devil deal real quick. Uh, one black heart. Black hearts trigger the on depletion effect when only partially depleted. I think we'll take that. And that, to be honest, considering there's two black hearts here. Good, good, good. And considering we have um, the, the soil converter too. Okay, we did get mapping here. That's great. I'm going to guess it's down, but I don't actually know here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that going left is a bit of a bit of a trick. It's not actually left. Oh, here's our shop as well, so it's good that we went this way. We 
We did get a star credit here. And we've got... Um, Grants is multiplied by the shots fired. I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to buy this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so that was unfortunately the wrong way. But we've still got plenty of time here. Considering we have mapping telling us the reasonable correct way to go. It's pretty good. We just got some good stat upgrades as well here. Oh god, this is a hard room. It's actually not that bad. Honestly, the Gorgon freezing things is our true knight in shining armor right now. It's just doing us such good work. It really is. It's keeping so many enemies at bay. Basically, we can deal with like one half of the room while he freezes the other half. It's kind of incredible. Although I will say he's frozen this enemy while it was midair. Okay, and then, yeah, we've, we've, we've already found the boss here. So we, we should make Hush here very easily. I should not have been hit there. That was dumb. Okay. Thank you, Dumpy, for saving my life there. And let's go ahead and fight... Fight the boss. And hope, hope that Hush spawns. It should, I think. I don't know how good of a run we have for Hush, I'll be honest. We'll see. But honestly, little Dumpy, it's going to help us stay alive. Just help us not get hit. Come on, Hush Door. Come on, Hush Door. No, the Hush Door doesn't spawn. Heck. Right, let me go and do some research. One second. Um, Binding of Isaac Hush Door. I need to find out how and when it spawns. Um, It is unlocked by defeating Mum's Heart for the tenth time. Damn. So many things I forget. So many things I forget about this game, but... Regardless, that was a very, very fun and interesting run. Um, I guess just to, just because we have the extra time left, I really like the fact that it adds a flag there. Let's go and do um, our arcade and mini boss room and see what's going on with those. Why not? <laughs> it's, it's not necessary. We've won the run already, but why the hell not? That is something that you guys are going to have to be okay with and have to get used to a little bit, is on average, the first probably... 20, maybe even more episodes are going to be much shorter than regular because we just have less flaws unlocked. Until we get like the alt path unlocked and stuff, it is just going to be shorter runs. Um, so that that is a thing. Also, that's another thing. Let's let's do some research. How do you unlock Greedier mode? Uh, by name of Isaac, Greedier mode. Because I've, I've got Greed mode, but I don't have Greedier. Um, greedier mode is unlocked by depositing 500 coins in the Greed machine. Ugh. Fuck, that sounds that sounds brutal. Anyways, uh we can we can do a bunch of greed mode as it comes. Anyways, yeah, I think that was pretty good. Uh we can put some more pennies in you, why not? I really like this bomb setup with the keys and stuff we had going on this episode. That was honestly one of the highlights. Really, really fun. We didn't get much other damage other than the uh chastity belt, but with tech two it kind of worked out just fine. Um and we can Pop off another one of those. Why not? Kill the tree. Pretty weird place for the tree to be, actually. Didn't manage to do anything to me. I kind of want to see if I can get to max red hearts. I don't know if there's an unlock for that, but I feel like there would be. It's always unlocks of weird stuff. Hey, that I was just about to say, all we need is a soul heart and we can do it. We're just going to not get hit. And we got to clear another few rooms. That's one done. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. I don't know what this enemy does, I'll be honest. Not too much, apparently. Not too much. One more room to clear without taking damage. 
There you go. It didn't unfortunately unlock anything, but I can say that I've done it. <laughs> we unlocked Maggie as well, which is also pretty good. I'm just trying to do it a lot. Like, there's just so many early game unlocks that I don't remember or I don't think about. So, I'm going to miss a lot of them. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Rubber Cement, Lich Baby, um, which I don't know if that's an item unlock or a baby unlock. Because we shouldn't technically have baby unlocks. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.